Hi everyone out there in Mr. Arnold CHM4E Adventures and World History class. Today we are going to be looking at another couple powerful functions within the UG Cloud landing page that you can leverage to do some research. So as usual, the first part you want to do is open your Noodle Tools account. So if you go under secondary, secondary and then Noodle Tools, you're going to open up Noodle Tools to your project page and you are going to create a new project and we might as well just create one for the unit B summative for now just so you have that ready to go. So I'm going to call mine unit B summative and Chicago style advanced. Once I have that name I can click submit and the new project will be at the top. By clicking on the title of the project, it opens to my sources page. This is important because once, if you want to link your research with your Noodle Tools account, it does need to be opened. Otherwise, it will just prompt you to open it from whatever source you're going to. Next, we are going to look today at Britannica School. Britannica School. So we have the power of an encyclopedia online for free available to us. So from the UG Cloud landing page, scroll down and click on Britannica. And that brings us into our encyclopedia landing page. We're going to choose high school. And then on high school, we have a number of tools at our disposal. So what I'm going to do first is I am going to search for something related to Hiawatha, and specifically the words Iroquois Confederacy. All right, Iroquois Confederacy. So as you can see from the beginning, we have some problematic language involved here. So looking at somewhat of a colonialist idea, this is an American resource. So you can see that they are referred to as Indian tribes, Indian tribes. Although they are referred to as nations here, they are called Indian tribes here. We can talk about that at another time. So Iroquois Confederacy. What I want to do is add this Iroquois Confederacy resource to Noodle Tools. So this is a little different. It's not connected directly to Noodle Tools, but we are going to use the power of the copy and paste citation function. So I click on Cite. I choose my citation style, and I have a full citation here. If I triple click on that, copy it, and go over to Noodle Tools, I'm now going to add a new source. So for the simplicity of this, I'm going to simply choose website and web page. And I'm going to go directly to, in the top right hand corner, copy and paste citation. I simply add it to the manually edited citation part. And if there is a publication date that you can find in this, you can add that. But if there's not, when in doubt, leave it blank. You can see down at the corner here on Britannica, it does say 2024, but it doesn't necessarily say the publication date for the article itself. If you're accessing something like Canadian Encyclopedia, it would have the article there. So I'm going to simply leave that blank. All right. Once I have my citation copied and pasted, I simply click save and there it is. So that's the first part of the lesson today, is copying and pasting a citation from Britannica Online. 
The next tool I'm going to show you to unlock is the images and videos tab and also the related tab. So take a second now to change our search to the Punic Wars. So I'm going to choose my link for the Punic Wars and you can see again we end up with article, images and videos, and related. The wonderful thing about the images and videos on here is if you are going to use one of the images, it opens up and you have sharing options under images and videos where you can get a citation for the image if you are going to use this image for your particular bibliography. Good stuff. So now I'm going to go back a couple of pages or I can use my history to do so. And I want to go back to this where I have my three tabs. So article, images and videos and related. So if I click on related, another wonderful thing about this is that you have many articles here that are related to this specific topic, the Punic Wars. You also have primary sources that you can use. In this case, there aren't. Or you can link to what's called the world's best sites. So they've done some work for you on the best sites you can use to research this particular topic. Excellent. Thank you for watching today's lesson on Britannica Online and unlocking some of the powerful tools within that for some general research for our summative.